Welcome back everyone, Sean Stevens here again with Metroplex Mortgage Services and another Loan Pro video quick tip. How do you qualify for a mortgage with a property located on a private road? What are USDA, FHA, VA, and conventional private road qualifying requirements? Now, today's topic happens to be one of my personal favorites because private roads are common in rural areas. And in our video, I will break down the differences between each program and help separate fact from fiction. Now, if you need help or have a question, that is what we're here for. Take advantage of our free second opinion service, which is designed to help realtors and buyers get access to an expert second opinion and is great for both new pre-qualifications and those loans that are already in progress. This week's highlighted loan scenario will walk you through the steps on how to navigate this type of situation. Step one, it is always a good idea to confirm with your local county roads and bridges department the exact type of road classification. Just because it may be on a dirt road, don't assume it is also considered private. Many counties have different classifications of road types and it is always best to make the call and double check. With that being said, because a key part of the guideline is knowing whether the road is public or private, the surface type is not always a determining factor. Now, once you know that it is a private road, remember the following. Fannie Mae conventional guidelines require a legally enforceable agreement or covenant for maintenance of the street and VA loans require evidence of a joint maintenance agreement, permanent easements, and that all streets must have an all-weather surface. Generally speaking, a private road maintenance agreement is one that provides for the continued maintenance of the road and other terms agreed upon by the property owners benefiting from the road. And many of us know this can be an extremely difficult document to locate due to a variety of factors which can lead to much frustration. However, what many do not realize is that FHA, USDA, and conventional loans under Freddie Mac do not require a road maintenance agreement, but instead just need to show evidence of permanently recorded easements for ingress and egress. An easement is a non-possessory interest in land which allows the holder the right to use a tract of land for a special purpose. And while this sounds complicated, don't get overwhelmed with the details, because your title company or attorney handling the closing can assist with this documentation. In summary, while private roads can offer unique challenges, just remember that not all loan programs require a road maintenance agreement and depending on the circumstances, additional requirements may be needed for those special cases. Qualifying for a home loan today may seem difficult and overwhelming, but when you work with a lender that specializes and understands the mortgage process, it is a match that can help open the door to home ownership. Please keep us in mind for your next pre-qualification or if you need an expert second opinion on a file experiencing financing hurdles. Whether it is USDA, FHA, conventional, or VA loans, just call or email to discuss your scenario and let us show you the Metroplex difference. Don't forget, we are known for keeping realtors and home buyers updated through each step of the process from pre-qualification to closing, along with one easy point of contact. And I want to thank you for the continued referrals and trusting us with all of your mortgage needs. Remember to subscribe for free on the right, post on Facebook, and your comments below are always appreciated. Make it a great day, and I'll see you right here for the next Tip of the Week.